Matt with Mikey Designs here, creator of Action Sips. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to rip your separations into halftone dots. Now this is an updated tutorial, so be sure to check it out. I've made the process a lot simpler. Instead of having a whole bunch of buttons down here, we have just one singular button and I'll show you how this works. I have my separations done and I just have my file saved as a PSD. You can save a copy of it just to make sure you have your original separations, but I'll demonstrate how to use the action rip function to create half tones if you don't have a rip software. And I'm gonna do this in the same document because it really doesn't destroy it, it just adds to it. So we have all of our separations, which I'm happy with, and we're using practically every single color. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. When ripping your channels, you do want to make sure you've done your separation at full print size at 300 DPI, which this image is set at 12 inches wide by 300 DPI. Now I'm going to come down to my first separation or channel and I'm going to click on white base. I'm going to come down here where it says rip current channel. So let's go ahead and we'll click that. Now our image is set at 300 DPI, but because our printers, our inkjet printers have the ability to print at 1440, we're going to set this at 1440 pixels per inch and we'll leave the method as halftone screen. We'll hit OK. Now this is where you'll set your LPI. Generally, I'll do about 45, but if you're using a higher mesh and you can hold 65 LPI, that's where you would enter that there. But for my purposes, and with our exposure unit being a multi-bulb exposure unit, 45 is a pretty good number, and we'll use that with 230 mesh screens. So we'll go ahead and we'll click OK. And what that will do is it will generate a half tone separation. If we scroll down to the bottom, it's going to place it at the bottom as a copy. And you can see that it is labeled white base copy. So if we double click on this, it is still, it still has your spot color that you assigned it. And this is the update kind of upgrade kind of thing where as before you had to man manually just kind of go in there and punch all of this in. So we'll hit cancel. And if we double click over here on the zoom glass, you'll see all the half tone dots that is making up the white base. Let's move on to some of the other colors and we'll demonstrate how easy this is and how you can get a pretty awesome representation of how this will actually print on press. So let's go to our black. Same thing, we'll come down to rip current channel. We already have our output set at 1440 because we set that before, so we'll hit OK. And we have our frequency at 45 LPI. I didn't talk about the angle last time around, but 22.5 is a great angle, but you can set it to whatever you want. Shape. I like to use round. If you want to use ellipse or diamond, that's completely up to you. So I'm going to hit OK. And we'll go down here and you'll see that it created the black right below the, the white base. So if we click on that, you'll see that it is still black. And we're just going to move right along and do the rest of these colors in sequence. So I'll click on red, rip current channel. I'll hit OK and OK because we already have all that set and we're just kind of moving down the line. Rip current channel. We'll hit OK and OK. Now I do want to note you don't want to have any other window open. If you do, it could cause some, some problems with this particular action. So now let's go to our lemon yellow. I believe that is the next one. Yep, we already did our blue. So we'll hit rip current channel, OK, and OK. Next, we'll go to our purple, we'll rip that as well. And I'm just going to quickly move down the line. I'm going to do our turquoise, hit OK and OK. We'll do our cool gray. 
And last but not least, we have our highlight white. And we're all finished ripping out our separations. If you wanted to, you could go back and delete all the channels that aren't ripped. You can leave them completely up to you. But you would just obviously, if you don't have a rip software, just print it straight from Photoshop to your printer. As I show you in the tutorial, showing you how to actually print that onto film without a rip. Now, if we come over here to our t-shirt color, we turn that on and we come down to our separation or our channel that is labeled white base. That is the one that, that is what we had just ripped. We can double click on the zoom. You can see all your little half tone dots and you'll see as we start to turn each of these on how everything stacks on top of one another and builds up. So let's go ahead and we'll turn all of these on. You can see just how the, the red and the yellow interact to make some of these orange colors. And if we completely zoom out, you know, it looks just like your separation, except everything is turned into halftone dots. You're getting a, a really great representation here of how it will print on press. Again, we'll double click on the zoom glass to give us 100%. And we'll just kind of scroll around and take a look at some of these things. And we can turn some of these layers off to see exactly how certain separations, excuse me, channels, not a layer, how everything is affected. And you can see the little white halftone dots for a highlight white and where it is placing it, how it's affecting the image and so on and so forth. If we turned our lemon yellow off, exactly what, what that is doing in this fender right here. And so that is the update to the action rip for those of you that don't have a rip software and wanna use this feature. It's made a lot easier to go ahead and rip all of your separations without destroying the file and you can carry on printing your film, getting your art exposed into your screens, and taking care of your clients. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.